Hey guys, welcome back today. I'm going to be doing a polish video and this is going to be another collab video with Amy from Nail Polish Baby 90, Holly from Miss Holly Berries, Jess from Just Face 90, and Zonora from Zen Network. And this time we're going to be talking about our polish picks for the Pantone color of the year. Last year we did the greenery picks and then uh, this year we wanted to do another one for the ultraviolet color. I personally am extremely excited about the ultraviolet color because I love purple and I think it's a beautiful lip color, eyeshadow color. I think a sort of purple toned blush could even be really pretty. So we're going to talk about our favorite nail polishes that fit into the Pantone ultraviolet color category and we are going to go in alphabetical order. No favorites here. If you guys want to see my picks for the Pantone ultraviolet polish color then just keep watching. I do want to say that Butter London again collaborated with the Pantone people and they released an official ultraviolet nail polish. Um, there's a, actually a, an entire ultraviolet collection with lip glosses, lip products, and some eyeshadows. And then I think there's six nail polishes, like the official ultraviolet color and then other coordinating colors. I don't have any of those. I might, I might get one at one point, but I don't have any of those to talk about. But if you want an official ultraviolet color, Butter London has you covered. And it's available at Ulta, I believe. There might be a few that are a little bit harder to find, but I believe they are all still available. I believe. So we are going to get it. We're going to start with China Glaze. This is called Dawn of a New Rain. And this one is from the, I believe this is their fall 2017 collection. So you should still be able to find this. Um, but it's a beautiful ultraviolet deep purple. This has an amazing formula. This covers in one coat. <laughs> and it doesn't dry matte. Uh, but it covers in one coat and this is a really beautiful purple polish. This is one of my favorites from the collection and um, it just happens to be sort of the ultraviolet color. It's a little bit darker. It's, I would call this more of an eggplant color, but it's pretty close. This is the, this looks so much brighter on the monitor, but this is the ultraviolet color. So this is a little, a little deeper, but actually in person. This looks a little more blue, it, it looks more ultraviolet, and this looks a little more purple, but you know, you get the idea. The next one is for OPI, and this one might be a little bit more difficult to find, but if you are an avid nail polish collector, you might have this in your collection. This is, is Funky Dunky, and this is a purple green. This has a really good formula, it covers in two coats. It's again, not quite as maybe vivid as the official ultraviolet color. I think it works. And it's a really pretty purple cream. Now, some of these are not meant to be exact matches, but I think they're nice substitutions or complementary colors to the ultraviolet. And this is one from OPI called Turn On The Normal Lights. This is from the Iceland collection, which was their fall collection. Uh, this is that beautiful kind of unicorn pea shimmer in it. It's a color shifting pigment. It's not as visible on the nail as it is in the bottle. In the bottle it's very vibrant and shifts from green to orange to purple. It sort of looks more like a nice orange shimmer on your nails, but if you have the right light I'm sure I'm sure someone could catch the shimmer. I'm just the worst at capturing multi-chrome shimmer. The next one is from Orly, and I feel like I, I haven't really heard anything about this line from Orly since it was initially released, but that is the Breathable line. This is a nice, I mean, it's, it's okay. This is a really beautiful, it's sort of, I would almost call this sort of an, sort of an ultraviolet. It's a little bit lighter than the official ultraviolet. But I still think this is really pretty. This color is called Feelin' Free, and this one covers in two coats. The other one from Zoya is called Finley, and that is what I am wearing today. You can't really see in this lighting, but this is a fabulous, very cool toned, deep 
purple with that scatter holographic formula. This formula from Zoya is perfection in my opinion. These cover flawlessly in two coats. I want this formula in every single color that you can possibly imagine. All of them. Yellow, orange. Oh. Anyway, this is Finley uh, and it's beautiful. First is from A England, and this is called Lady of the Lake. This is similar to the Zoya Finley. It's a little more, uh, the holographic in here is more, it's finer particles, so it's even more scattered, <laughs> but it's a gorgeous, very cool toned purple. I love A England. I cannot speak highly enough of A England. Uh, I think that her polishes are just beautifully formulated. This is a beautiful polish. This is one of my first day England, so it was also like when I pulled this out, I was like, oh, it's sentimental because I just I love England. So this is Lady of the Lake. I have one from Different Dimension. This is called Butterfly Nebula, and this is definitely a stretch, but it's got the ultraviolet base with color shifting flakies in it. I'm gonna put up a picture of it and you're gonna be like, oh, that's not very exciting. But in person, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. The flakies shift from blue to green to orange to red. This one covers in, I believe, two coats. It's a pretty opaque jelly base. Um, but there's so much glitter in here that definitely helps to um, make it look more opaque in fewer coats. If you have longer nails, you might need to do a third coat. I have kind of short nails, so two coats is good for This one might be, <laughs> this one is kind of a stretch, but I love this color. And this one, if you don't have it, I don't know where you can buy it. Illamasqua is so difficult to find, at least in the U.S. I think it's still available like in the UK and overseas and pretty much anywhere but America. I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I don't know. This one is called Poke and it is a super ultraviolet, super ultraviolet with uh, very, very fine silver and just looks like maybe a little bit of blue shimmer in here. It's super fine shimmer, and it's definitely a different color than ultraviolet, but I feel like if you don't have an ultraviolet polish, but you somehow have this one, like you can get away with this as your ultraviolet polish. I do love Illamasqua polishes. I have quite a few of them, and they all have very, very good formulas, so it's a bummer that it's not more easily accessible in the U.S., but if you happen to have Illamasqua near you or you happen to have Poke, pull it out, wear it, Love it. Enjoy it. Just had a whole bunch of like cheese and crackers and like a charcuterie plate and it was delicious and super full. So, fun fact. The last two I have are from 90 Lacquer. The first is called Chromatic and this is from her Roji Biv collection. This is a ultraviolet linear hollow. It covers in two coats. It's beautiful. I think the Roy G. Biv collection is my favorite 90 collection. I think. All of those polishes are just so lovely. All of Jess's polishes are lovely, but the Roy G. Biv collection, I think, I talk about the polishes in that collection more than others. The other is called Midnight, and this is from her holiday Christmas collection for 2016. And this is an ultraviolet jelly base packed with silver holographic glitter. This is a jelly, but um, it builds up nicely. I think this one is opaque in two coats. But so those are my Pantone polish picks for 2018. Do you guys love ultraviolet? Are you excited about it? I'm pretty excited about it. I liked greenery. I wasn't too crazy about the baby blue, baby pink from a couple years ago, but purple I can fully get behind. I'm, I'm here for it. So let me know your picks for 
the ultraviolet color selection. Be sure to check out everyone's videos. They will be linked in the description box and tell them that Amanda sent you because I'm super cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!